Hi, Lee Phillips here. I want to answer a question that I get every once in a while is, and that is, what is an HSA? A health savings account? Basically, it's a benefit plan under ERISA, the Employee Retirement Income Security Act, but it's kind of cool because what it does is it allows you to make your medical expenses not deductible, and your medical expenses are almost non-deductible because you've got to meet the 10% of adjusted gross income. That changes every once in a while, but you've got to meet a certain level before you can even start to actually deduct anything. So if you make $100,000, you've got to have $10,000 in medical expenses, and then the $10,001, that $1 is deductible. So after that, it's deductible. No, 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 no. The HSA, and the problem is you have to have a little company to do this. So if you have a little company, you can set up an HSA. Now, you don't really have to set it up because all you have to do is contact your insurance dude, and he is going to set it up for you. They, they love this. They'll help you do it. Uh, the insurance companies control the money in it. Uh, they don't decide where to spend it. You decide where to spend it, but you can't keep the account. So you have to have the insurance company, an IRS qualified fiduciary, keep the account, keep the money for you, and then you submit medical expenses and they reimburse you. So you set up the account and you can put a couple can put seven thousand some odd dollars into it individuals half that you put your seven thousand dollars in this year and then you have a medical expense that qualifies and pretty much everything except over-the-counter stuff qualifies we even used to take over the counter a while back but uh, Clinton made it so you couldn't do that you uh, you take the over-the-counter stuff I'm, excuse me, Obama made it so you couldn't do that. You take the medical expenses, except the over-the-counter stuff, and you pay for it. You get the receipt, and then however often the plan is set up, you submit those receipts, keep them in an envelope, submit them to the plan, and the plan will reimburse you for those receipts from the $7,000 or however much you put in. You don't have to put a full seven in. They'll reimburse you the money, and that comes to you. It's not 1099, it's not w 2 anything like that. It just comes to reimburse you. So the little company, your company, when they set up the plan and you paid the $7,000, the company got a tax deduction for that. But if this is your little company, basically what you've done is lowered your income, your adjusted gross income, because that comes out above the line, you've lowered it by however much you contributed to the HSA. So this is pretty cool, guys. The company contributes money to the HSA, gets a deduction for it. You can then submit receipts for medic qualified medical expenses to the HSA, and we do it around here quarterly. You can do it weekly, you can do it annually, it doesn't matter. You submit the expenses and they reimburse you for those expenses. And that's tax free to you. So now effectively what you've done is not worried about deducting your medical expenses. You have made your medical expenses tax free. And that's a huge deal, guys you get to spend this money tax free. And you don't worry about deductions anymore because you got the maximum tax benefit out of this that you could get. Uh, the HSAs are pretty cool. Like I say, the insurance dude will set it up for you. So you don't need to worry about that. There's no expenses usually, it's just straight up. You submit the money out of the company, pay the money out of the company, company gets a deduction, you can then be reimbursed with that money. This is not a 125 or a flex plan or any of those things in that there is no use it or lose it rule. If you don't 
use your full amount, your $7,000 or whatever that you put into the account this year, it just carries over to the next year. And it carries over to the next year. In fact, people will actually use this as a savings account. You can't really do that. That's not supposed to be what you're doing with it. But you can actually build up money in the account, save it for long-term health care or something. That's a medical expense. Save it, but in the meantime, you can actually invest this money. And it grows without a tax. So it becomes basically a tax-preferred savings account if you don't use the money. Maximize it out as much as you can every year up to the 7000 for a couple, whatever. <clears throat> and the number changes all the time. But max it out and then uh, use as much as you can, as much as you, as you need to reimburse yourself with medical expenses. That's an excellent use of this money. And whatever's left over, you can actually invest and make a profit on it. And that profit comes to you tax-free. So the HSA is really a neat thing, guys. Uh, it has a brother called the HRA, the Health Reimbursement Agreement, which we can talk about in another YouTube video. And uh, works about the same way, except you get to control the money. You don't need an insurance company. And you can put as much money as you want into the HRA account. HSA is limited. HRA isn't. But it's not as easy to set up as an HSA. The HSA is a slam dunk. You should be using it if you have your own little company. This is Lee Phillips. I've been talking about what's an HSA, Health Savings Account. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And by the way, tell other people about it because the more people we get, the more people we can influence. And you might notice that there aren't any ads on this account. Uh, it's just straight up inf information for you. Uh, if you'd like a sample of an HSA agreement, just so you can see what it is, then email me, info, I-N-F-O, at legalese, L-E-G-A-L-E-E-S. That's the sponsor of the YouTube channel. And, and in the subject line, just say YouTube request for HRA, excuse me, HSA agreement. So Lee at, or info at legalese and request an HSA sample agreement per the YouTube offer. So, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you in another YouTube.